Hey there, what's going on everyone? Imagine having the capability to access all the newest movies, your favorite TV series, live pay-per-view events, and so much more without ever having to jailbreak your Amazon Fire Stick. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate exactly how to achieve all of that. I'll guide you through each step you need to know, allowing you to start enjoying all your preferred entertainment at no cost, without having to purchase a pre-modified Fire Stick or jailbreak it yourself. If you're eager to learn how to do this, then just stick around because I'm about to show everything right now. First things first, head over to the Amazon App Store and search for a specific application. The simplest route is to navigate to your home screen and locate the magnifying glass icon. From there, press down and then click the center button on your remote. This action will bring up a keyboard. Type in Downloader. You'll see it appear in the suggestions. Scroll down, highlight it, and click the center button. This will take you straight to the distinctive orange app you're looking for. Let's go ahead and click it. Now you can get this app for your device. Just click the center button once and the download process will begin. Give it a few moments, it will configure itself. Once completed, it will display Launch Now. Do not open it just yet. With Launch Now displayed, press the home button on your remote Next, we need to access your Amazon Fire Stick settings to adjust a particular option. The most straightforward approach is to slide all the way to the right on your home screen. A menu will then appear at the bottom. Slide down. We're looking for My Fire TV. If your device hasn't been updated, My Fire TV might be in a different spot. For very old versions, it might even say My Device instead. Regardless of its name or location, that's the option we need to select. Let's click it together. After clicking in, everyone's screen should appear similar. My screen might have a different look because I have developer options. If yours doesn't show it, don't worry at all. I'll explain how to enable it. Just go up and click About. Then with your Fire Stick or Fire TV highlighted, press the center button nine times. After doing this, a message will pop up stating, Congratulations, you are now a developer. Once you see that notification, click the back button and developer options will now be visible on this menu. All right, let's click into developer options together. The first item you'll see is ADB debugging. Click the center button once, just like that, to activate it. A small confirmation box might appear. Simply slide down and click allow. Now click install unknown apps. You'll see downloader listed. You might have other applications there as well. Scroll down to Downloader, then press the center button once to switch it on. If you're using an older Fire Stick model, this specific option might be absent. It could say Apps from Unknown Sources, and you'll only have the choice to turn it on or off. If you see that, simply switch it on. Now that we're all set, press the Home button on your remote. Next, locate the newly installed Downloader app. The easiest way to view all your applications is to slide almost to the very end and click the icon depicting three squares with a plus sign. This displays all your installed apps. The newest applications always appear at the very bottom. Just scroll down through your apps and the very last one will be the most recent app you've added. Let's open Downloader together. A small pop-up might appear. Just click the center button to dismiss it. This application enables you to visit nearly any website. To do this, click the center button two times, once, then twice, just like that. A keyboard will appear, allowing you to type in the desired web address. Today, I'll direct us to a specialized website. I'll show the address on the screen as I type. Be sure to enter it exactly as shown, or you might encounter an error. Take your time. Pause the video if necessary. Once you've accurately typed the address, highlight Go and click the center button. You'll now see a small red circle on my screen. You might, however, see a box. If you see this box, move the red circle onto that black box and click the center button. If not, the download will start automatically. You won't need to click on anything and let's wait for it to complete. As soon as the download finishes, it will prompt you to set up the app. Simply slide over and click Install. Once it's done setting up, slide over and click the Done button. Clicking Done will bring us back to this screen. We're going to slide over, click Delete, 
and one more time, slide over and click delete. Okay, everyone, that concludes our needs from the Downloader app. Let's press the home button. Next, we need to return to your Amazon Fire Stick settings and change one more thing. Remember, the quickest way to access your settings is to slide all the way to the end. Then, once again, click the center button on My Fire TV or My Device. Following that, click where it says Developer Options and one more time, go into Install Unknown Apps. Go ahead and click that. This time, you'll notice Unlin has appeared on the list. If you have more apps, just scroll down until you highlight Unlin. And as before, press the center button once to ensure Unlin is turned on. Now that everything is complete, press the home button one more time. We need to locate that new Unlin app. Remember, simply slide over and click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. All your apps are displayed on this list and the newest one is always at the very bottom. And right there is the new Unlin app we just added. Let's open it together. The initial prompt asks you to enter a new library. Click the center button on your remote two times, once, then twice, just like that. Another keyboard will pop up requesting the library code. Folks, I've created my own special app store, granting access exclusively to my viewers and followers. I put in a lot of effort to include only the best, most recent applications in my store. All I ask in return for my hard work, for keeping these apps updated, for making this video, and for answering your questions, is that you click the subscribe button. That's your way of saying thank you for providing all this for free. And a big thank you to all my viewers who are already following. Now that you're a follower, go ahead and type in this code. Be sure to take your time. It must be entered exactly as written, or you might encounter an error. If I'm moving too quickly, just pause the video. Once you've correctly entered that code, click next and allow it a moment to load. Everyone, welcome to my exclusive app store. I've stocked it with 80 incredible applications for free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and much more. Many inquire about my favorites. My top recommendations for cutting the cord are conveniently located here in the welcoming message. Additionally, a frequent question is why a VPN is crucial when using these apps. I've included a brief message here, so please take a moment to read all the information on the welcoming screen. After you've finished reading everything, click the center button on your remote three times. This action will organize my store for you. Slide up and down to browse different groups, or left and right for individual apps. Today, I'll showcase a few apps, demonstrate how the store functions, explain how to add apps, and guide you on how to start enjoying your free entertainment. Now, scroll all the way down through the categories until you find category number 14, Awesome YouTube Examples. The first app I want to download here is IP Vanish VPN. It's my top choice for ensuring everyone's safety and privacy while utilizing all these fantastic applications. Some individuals experience difficulty downloading or using apps because their internet provider blocks them. With IP Vanish VPN, you remain completely secure and can bypass those restrictions your internet company imposes on you and your devices. To download IP Vanish VPN, highlight it, then click Download. Alternatively, you can return to the Fire Stick home screen, find the magnifier icon, scroll down, click the search bar, and when the keyboard appears, type IP Vanish. You'll see it in Suggestions. Highlight and click the center button. On this page, select the app from the list, and in this menu, click the center button to initiate the installation process. Once installed, click the center button to launch the app. Now you can log in. Don't have an account yet? Well then, I'll make it incredibly simple for you to get one so you can browse without any concerns and unlock all those amazing apps. First, grab your phone or computer and open your internet browser. Go to the website displayed on the screen now. You can also point your camera at the QR code in the corner to navigate directly there. I'll also include the website link in the description and comments below. Next, pick your preferred plan. You can even choose just one month to try it out and witness the difference for yourself. After you've acquired it, they'll send an email containing your secret username and password. Once you have that, 
your Fire Stick will be safe and secure. Now log into the IP Vanish app and click Connect. I also want to show you some settings. Click the gear icon within the IP Vanish app. A menu will appear. I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If I click the center button and enable this, you won't have to worry about manually activating your VPN every time you power up your device. The VPN will connect automatically, ensuring your movie viewing isn't interrupted by having to check. If it's on, it will handle it for you. Okay, so now that we're completely secure, let's start getting some of these fantastic applications. Press the home button and return to your apps. And once again, open the Unlin application, then navigate back to the same category. Now folks, I wanna show you the next four apps you should download to access free movies, TV shows, sports, and live TV. You'll find four more apps that we can install in this category. It's also incredibly helpful to carefully read the descriptions. So you fully grasp what each app is, what it does, and what actions you might need to take. Here's the first one. You'll see an app name that offers live TV, pay-per-view, and adult content. Just click on it, then click Download, and we'll simply wait for it to reach 100%. This might take a moment or two, depending on your internet connection and the file size. Afterward, click Install App, slide over, and click Install. Give it a moment. It will take us right back into the store so we can acquire more apps. Then, you'll discover an app name that provides you with all the sports content. Just highlight it and click Download. We'll wait for this to reach 100%. Again, wait a few seconds for it to finish. As soon as you see the small box pop up, click Install App, slide over, and click Install. Next up, you'll find an app name that delivers all the movies and all the TV shows. Just highlight it and click Download. We'll wait for this to reach 100%. I know the waiting can sometimes feel long, but it's truly worth it. As soon as you see the small box pop up, click Install App, slide over, and click Install. Now, some apps within my store require a separate player to function correctly. The app you just installed for movies and TV shows is one of those. You'll actually notice in its title that it mentions the necessity of this other player app. It might seem a little confusing now, but when you read its description here, or when you're actively using the apps, you'll see it, and everything will make perfect sense. So, let's download that app player now. You'll find an app name that corresponds to the required player, click Download, and again, we'll wait for it to reach 100%. This is the last time waiting, I promise. And as soon as the small box pops up, click Install App, slide over, and click Install. Folks, it's that straightforward. We've just installed four incredible applications. There are 80 in my store, so please don't limit yourself to the few examples I demonstrated in today's video. My absolute favorite apps can be found in category number one, top apps. Explore the store and download as many applications as you wish to try. They are all completely free. So feel free to download every single one if they fit on your device. But now that you've downloaded everything you desire, let's press the home button because once again, I want to locate all those apps we just put on. And if you recall from earlier in the video, all you need to do is click on that icon with three squares and a plus sign. It displays all your apps and all the newest ones appear at the very bottom. So what I want you to do is highlight one of those new apps, then click the three lines button, also known as the menu button, to the right of your home button on your remote. When you do, a menu will slide down. Click where it says move to front. You'll observe the app relocating from the bottom to the top. I wanna demonstrate the benefit of moving apps to the top for your device. So click the home button here, from the home screen, where you always begin, you'll have effortless access to those apps right here. You won't need to search for them. Now folks, I know that we've downloaded some amazing apps that provide us with free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view content. Before you ever open any of those applications, I always strongly suggest that you activate your VPN first. Folks, I simply want to express my sincere gratitude to all my followers 
Your support truly means a great deal and helps me immensely. I cannot thank you enough for taking time out of your day to help me achieve a goal. I eagerly await your comments and look forward to seeing you very soon in the next video.